How to record felt piano. Hi, I'm Dominique Charpentier, recording artist, film and video game composer, and I'm here to help you with tips for aspiring composers. Today's tip is about recording felt piano. So it's a very common sound nowadays. Uh, it was made famous by uh, neoclassical composers like Nils Fram and Olaf Warmaltz. And now this soft uh, piano sound is used in uh, a lot of uh, cinema productions, but also in pop music everywhere. And a lot of you uh, asked me how to obtain this sound. So I will explain it to you right now. Just follow me in my studio. So first you need a decent acoustic piano. Uh, an upright piano is easier than uh, a grand piano uh, to obtain the sound. Uh, it can be any upright piano, you don't have to have uh, a fancy uh, upright piano, uh, just a decent one is okay. I use a Schimmel Classic uh, 120 Elegance Manhattan, but you can use any piano. Then uh, you need to use the practice pedal, or the also called the Celeste pedal, that's the third pedal uh, in the middle, uh, and this pedal will automatically put uh, a piece of felt between the hammers and the strings uh, to play uh, and uh, make less uh, noise. Uh, that's how you obtain uh, the, the, the felt piano sound. Uh, if you don't have the pedal on uh, this pedal uh, on your piano, maybe you just have two pedals, that's fine. You just need uh, to find a piece of cloth or felt uh, so it can be a t-shirt, jeans, uh, try a few ones uh, and you have to put it uh, between the hammers and the strings and maintain it uh, tight, it's very important and use duct tape and, uh, to maintain it uh, fixed on the piano. Just try a few uh, pieces of clothes to obtain the right sound so it, uh, it has to be thick enough uh, to obtain a soft sound but not too much otherwise you won't have any dynamics. Then you will need to have uh, two microphones. Uh, I would advise uh, condenser microphones. And the very important thing is to put it close to the hammers. So uh, 10 to 30 centi centimeters to the hammers. Uh, you don't need fancy microphones. Uh, again, just use the one you have. I use a Bayer Dynamics uh, MC930. But you can use uh, other microphones. Uh, the position is not that important too, at least uh, the, how, how you record it. So you can use uh, XY, uh, you can use AB or ORTF. Uh, any will work. The most important thing is to put the, the microphones close to the hammers. And then uh, the other thing you will need is to the, the way you play. It will be very important to obtain this soft piano sound. You have to play with a lot of emotions and not too loud. The, the, if there is too much d dynamics, uh, then the sound won't work very well, I think, in my opinion. Uh, if you want this soft cinematic uh, sound, you have to play not too loud, but with a lot of emotions. That's very important. And then the last thing you will need is to add a few effects and to use a proper mastering uh, just for this piano sound. I can explain it to you in another video if you want, so just leave a comment uh, below and I will make another video to explain how to uh, put the effects and master your track, your soft piano track. And that's it. Uh, I hope this tutorial was uh, useful, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.